days when I was young, he wouldn't just go around not doing what they were supposed to do. Oh, there he goes, Ebenezer Scrooge. And worse than ever. Oh, Scrooge and I used to be business partners. That's right. We had a very successful business for many years called Scrooge and Marley. But then I died. <laughs> you see, I'm a ghost. Boo! Did I scare any of you? No. no? I'm still new at this. I'll get it. <laughs> you see, after I died, Scrooge had to keep up the business all by himself. Oh, except for his one employee, Mr. Bob Cratchit. Mr. Cratchit's a very nice man, a friendly man, and a very hard worker. And to tell you the truth, I don't know how he puts up with Scrooge, really. See, Scrooge is a lonely and grumpy old man who only cares about two things. Money and work. And more money. And people talk of Scrooge as having a cold heart. And, oh, here he is now. Just watch. <laughs> And what a beautiful morning it is. Oh, the sun is shining and people are filled with good cheer. Are you? Everybody is? Yes? Good cheer, huh? Bob! Oh, oh, oh no. I, I, I just... Yes? Well, consider it an investment. Investment? Yes! Good cheer is an investment. All right, now you've got my attention. An investment in what? Well, it's an investment in love. Uh, oh, Uncle, haven't you ever been in love? Love? You know what, niece? Ah, I thought you were a smart girl, but you're talking ridiculous no. things. Do you know what? This whole holiday is a ridiculous thing. No, do you know what happens on this holiday? Yes. No, oh, do you do? I don't think you do, and I will tell you what happens. Schools close down, uh -huh. businesses close down, uh -huh. people get a day off, yeah. children play when they should be in school, working and doing homework all year round. Oh, Uncle, don't be so cruel. I just came here today to invite you to join our family for a holiday meal. Well, I will do no such thing. Oh, but please, Uncle. No. Stop talking to me about holiday. Go be with your family. Go be with your loved ones. Stop talking to me about holiday. Well, I guess there's really no getting through to him, but I tried. Oh, see what I mean? He's much worse than I ever imagined. And to think, he used to talk so kindly of his family. Why, he used to speak of his sister Fan with such affection. Well, I wonder what could have happened. And I wonder if there's anything I can do to change him. Zippity doo da, zippity yay. My, oh my, what a th good day, sir. Is it? Why, yes, it's a beautiful day. Can I help you with something? Uh, yes, yes. I see by the uh, sign in your window that this shop belongs to Scrooge and Marley. Are you Mr. Scrooge or Mr. Marley? <clears throat> Marley has been dead for seven years. Tonight is the anniversary of Marley's death. Uh, Marley está muerto durante estos siete años, muchacho. Si, si, uh, yes. Yes, I get it. I get it. I think we all get it. He is no longer with us. Well, you have my condolences. Well, I don't want them. Is there something I can do for you? Oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, I come because of your reputation for being a charitable soul. <laughs> That's Marley that you speak of. <laughs> it's true. I was quite generous when I was alive. Well, I'm sure you're just as generous. You see, I come collecting small charitable donations for those in need this holiday season. They long for shelter, and a bed, and a warm meal. A perfect opportunity for you to be a good citizen and give. So, let me get this straight. You want my money. <laughs> well, let me ask you this question. <clears throat> Are there prisons? Prisons? 
prisons? Why, yes, of course there are prisons. Wonderful. Well, let's round up all of these poor people of which you speak, and let's put them in prison. And there they'll find their shelter, and there they'll get their warm bed, and they'll get their you, meals. Please. <laughs> Mr. Scrooge, I, I, um, <laughs> I thought you were serious for a moment there, Mr. Scrooge. Now, how much may I expect to collect? I shall not be associated with charity. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see. You wish to remain strictly anonymous. Well, your secret is safe with me. Now, how much would you care to give? You know what? I've changed my mind. I will give you something. Oh, I'm so pleased. I'm going to give you something substantial. Oh, Mr. Scrooge, I, I knew you were the charitable sort. I'm going to give you a swift kick in the keystone. Oh, wow! Hey, get out of my shop! Get out! Get out. Get out. gentleman came to our shop trying to help those less fortunate. And Scrooge couldn't have been meaner. This is terrible. I've got to do something as fast as I can before it's too late. But what can I do to make him listen? Uh, wait, I'm a ghost. I'll scare him. <laughs> Scrooge. Excuse me, Barney. Which Barney? Oh, someone's coming. Oh, now's not the time. I'll have to come back later when it's dark and scary and he's all alone. Oh, I'm very late for work. I'm very late. I, I would have been on time, you see, but my youngest son, Tiny Tim, well, he's very sick, and I had to care for him. Otherwise, I would have been on time. Oh, is Mr. Scrooge in a good mood today? Is he? No? No? You good mood? You, no? Oh, okay, well, I'm going to sneak in very quietly. Everybody be very quiet. I'm just going to sneak in like this. Oh, I'm almost there. Oh, I made it. Crash it! I'm a lamp! Well, look who decided to show up for work today. You know I can fire you for being late, don't you? Uh, yes, Mr. Scripture. You see, uh, I... Uh, what is it? Well, I'm sorry that I'm late, but I have a... Uh, yes, yeah. uh, we'll keep well, going on. Enough! You wasted enough of my time today. Get to work! Yes, sir. Hello, Candle. I'm going 
to stare at you until I... There he is! Perfect, all alone. I will give him such a scare that he will be sure to listen. I'm still getting the hang of this. Um, let me try something else. <clears throat> hey, Ebenezer! Boop, 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 boop! What a ridiculous song. What? Oh, that didn't work at all. I need to do something else then. Uh, wait a minute. Can all of you help me? Yeah. yeah. All right, on the count of three, I want you all to yell Scrooge's name as loud as you can in your loudest ghost growl. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Uh, Perfect. Here we go. One, two, three. Scrooge! What? What? Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Oh, I'm calling the police! Well, don't you recognize me, Ebenezer? Molly? Oh, but you're dead. Uh, you died seven years ago, but tonight is the, the seventh, seventh anniversary of my death. Yes, 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 I know. We all know. <laughs> what, 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 what are you doing here? Uh, this can't be happening. Ghosts aren't real. Not real. Of course I'm real. Here, see for yourself. You're much different than when I was alive. I am here to help you change. Oh, well, change? Yeah. Oh, well, I like change. Uh, uh, quarters? Uh, uh, nickels? Dollars? No, 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 not change. No. Change of the heart. I am here to show you much, Scrooge. Like what? Well, like y you are cold and mean and evil. Go on. <laughs> well, well that, that you're selfish, uh, tight-fisted, and rude. Yes, and? <laughs> what? Well, people want nothing to do with you, Scrooge. You know what? This is ridiculous. I'm not going to just stand here and let you bat me. Uh, 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 I'm through with this. Um, uh, you, you, you there. I'm going to need your help. Everyone knows that if you feel pain in a dream, you wake up, and that's the only way to get rid of this joker. So on the count of three, I'm going to need you to hit my wrist. But be gentle, because I'm a sensitive old man. <laughs> All right? Yeah. So one, two, a three. There we go, and he's gone. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'm going to go back to sleep now. Hello, chair. Hello, Teddy. Hello, Teddy. Hey, I just scared you. This is crazy. I'm a ghost now. Come with me, baby. Hey, I just scared you. And this is crazy. But I'm a ghost now. Come with me, baby. I am the first of your visitors this evening. The ghost of your past. A ghost? Well, you look more like a cheap magician than a ghost. Cheap? This is the finest faux suede. <laughs> I come to take you on a journey. Uh, a journey to where? To your past. My past? Well, I've been to my past. Uh, I don't want to see that again. There's nothing there for me. Oh, Scrooge, there is always something to learn from your past. Now come with me. No, I don't want you, and you can't make me. You have no control over me. Oh, no? <laughs> Hello, I'm Scrooge, and I'm so glad you came to see me tonight, Ghost. I can't wait to see what you have to show me. And might I add, you're very handsome. <clears throat> Thank you. I use Nivea face cream. Don't all the different do that. 
Scrooge, you will come with me. No, I won't. I'm leaving. Shoo, go away. You can't make me do anything. Halt! <laughs> you are going to come with me, Scrooge. We must visit your past in order to change your future. Now turn. And walk this way. Fossey! Fossey! And kit will change and kit will change and slide and slide and blackout! <laughs> Brother? Ebenezer? Ghost! That's my sister Fan! And this is my boarding school! Oh, I haven't been here for 40 years! Why are you showing me this? Watch! Oh! Oh, there you are, brother! Oh, I have the best news. I have softened father's heart, and he has agreed that you are to come home for the holidays. Yes! Yes, it's true! Now pack your things and come down quickly. I completely forgot about this. Uh, 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 you see, my father, uh, he was a firm believer that children should be in school all year round. Well, I didn't get to go home much, but with this year, uh, this year, my sister Fan convinced him to let me spend the holidays with her. Oh, oh there you are, brother, come along. Oh, well, my, how you've grown. Well, we're going to have the best time. Take my hand and we'll go. And did you go with her, Scrooge? I did. And it was a wonderful holiday. Because why are you showing me this? You see, Scrooge, you have become so concerned with your business and your money that you have forgotten about your family. Oh, well, I fear your plan is working against you, ghost. Uh, all this has done is reminded me how cruel the world can be. My sister Fan is no longer alive. Your sister Fan may no longer be with us, but her daughter, your niece, still lives. And she carries with her the charm of your sister Fan. Come, Scrooge. We have more to see. Look around you, Scrooge. Do you recognize this place? Oh. Oh, I do! Uh, this is, uh, this is Fezziwig's place! <laughs> Fezziwig, he was the first man to give me a job! He taught me everything I know about business! Oh, Fezziwig, oh, he had the greatest laugh! <laughs> he would laugh all of the time! Well, it sounds like Fezziwig was someone who enjoyed his life. Uh, he did, and he made sure other people enjoyed their life, too. How did he do that, Scrooge? Was it magic? Was he a magician? You know how I love magic. Pick a car. Uh, um, I don't know. He just, it just was, he, he, did, uh, he was, I, I don't, I don't know how he did it. You don't know what, Scrooge? Well, I mean, he was the boss, but, you know, he never raised his voice or, or, or made, made a mean face. Is something bothering you, Scrooge? I think I, I would like to see Bob Cratchit. I think there's something that I need to say to him. Not now, Scrooge. Look. Do you know this woman? Oh, that's Belle. Oh, we were engaged to be married. See how beautiful she is? Well, I was so in love with her. Doesn't matter now. You love someone else more than me. Uh, no, I don't. I'm sorry. I should have said something. Money, Ebenezer. Money and work. It's all you ever seem to care about. Remember the long walks by the river or the picnics we used to take? I, you don't even love the things you used to love anymore. And I'm afraid you don't love me. Oh, now, I care for you very much. Uh, uh, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't understand why you're doing this. If you were all alone, and you came to this party tonight and saw me here, would you still want to talk to me? I mean, if, uh, I would... If you wouldn't. You would consider it a waste of time. And maybe all that means is that you're happier without me, and I need to be with somebody who loves me more than their money, Ebenezer. I hope that money makes you happy. Oh, 
I'll always love you. Is this your card? <laughs> I think I've seen enough. I would like to go home now. Not yet, Scrooge. You still have much more to see. But my time runs short and I must be on my way. You will have two more visitors tonight, Scrooge. I advise you to keep your eyes open. <laughs> Poof! Smoke! <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of freaky, isn't it? Oh, man, I know if I was in your shoes, I'd be shaking in my boots. I'd be freaked out. Wouldn't you all be freaked out if this was happening to you? Like ghosts, like walking into your house and like, whoa, there's a ghost. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. I uh, am very freaked out. Yeah. <laughs> you must be my second visitor. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, oh, yeah, I am the ghost of Holiday's present. <laughs> but, but, but not like presents, presents. Because I don't have a gift for you, man. I'm sorry. I don't have gifts for any of you either, because cause, cause ghosts don't really make any money. But <laughs> No, no, I'm the ghost of Holiday's present. Like, in the moment and stuff. Ghosts, you speak very strange. Uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, know. Oh, uh, I've got something to show you. So, uh, I don't have much time, so let's make like a rock and roll, huh? No, no. I'm afraid what you're going to show me is going to be even more upsetting, so I'm not going anyplace. Thank you. All right, fine. We won't go anywhere, because, uh, guess what? Ninja Go! We're already here. Whoa, whoa. This is the poor part of town. Uh, I know what the poor part of town looks like because I used to be poor. But what are we doing here? Let's go to this house. Well, what can I have to see in this tiny little shack? Shh. Look and see. Children, come to the table. Your father will be home soon and we're going to have dinner all together, so hurry up. Oh, this is Bob Cratchit's house. Oh, I don't feel good being here. I feel like an no, 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 stay, stay, watch. They won't mind. Sweetheart, I'm home. Oh, dear. Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm sorry I'm late, but uh, I had to speak with Mr. Scrooge about getting the day off tomorrow. Oh, yes. And, um, what, did you get it? Well... Ah, uh, yes, I did! Oh, fantastic! Oh, that's such good news. Uh, where are the children? Oh, they're getting ready for supper. And how is Tiny Tim? Oh, well, he's not so well today, Bob. Hmm. But he's missed you so much, and he's waiting for you in, well, in your room. Then I must see him right away. All right. Our poor son, Tim. The youngest, he's very sick and frail, and he needs doctor's visits and medications, and it's just all so expensive. I'm afraid if Bob doesn't ask for a raise soon from Mr. Scrooge, well, we'll lose our little home. But, well, we do the best with what we have. Oh, oh be careful with Tim. I, I don't want him to get too excited. <laughs> There's my good boy. Hello, Tim. Oh. Hello, Dad. <laughs> did you have a good day at work today? I did, Tim, but it was very busy and I missed you very much. I missed you too, Dad. <coughs> oh, <Tim. laughs> What's it like working for Mr. Scrooge? Well, uh, he may not be the nicest boss, but deep down I know he's a good man. Well, that must be very deep down. <laughs> Dear. Well, uh, well, that's enough talk. Why don't you propose a toast and we'll eat? Yes, yes, a toast. Hmm. How about a toast to Mr. Scrooge? Oh, no. Well, dear, he is responsible for all that we have now. Daddy's right, Mom. Let's toast to Mr. Scrooge! Uh, <laughs> yes, Tim, to Mr. Scrooge. I'll get the soup. Say, ghost. 
That little boy, Tiny Tim. Does he get the help he needs to grow up big and strong? Uh, in the future, I, I see an empty chair at the table, so... Now, come on now, Ghost, don't be cruel. Well, I'm not being cruel. I'm just saying, if things don't change, I see no other alternative. Well, surely there must be some place that they can go to get the help that they need. I mean, I don't want to see the Cratchits out on the street with no house and nothing to eat. Wait, there's totally a place they can go. Oh, wonder, I just wonder, I just thought, right? Prison! Isn't that what you said? They can get a, a shelter and a warm meal and a bed in prison? Well, yes, I, I, I did say that. But I didn't mean that a, a sick little boy should be put there, or, or, the, or the crashes for that matter, bec because, well, Bob Cratchit, I mean, he's my, Bob Cratchit, he's my I know Bob Cratchit very well, and I don't want to see him and his family out on the street. Ghost! Ghost! Ghost, why are you left me? Uh, there's something I need to talk about. You there. You. You don't think I'm a bad man, do you? Yeah. <laughs> How about you? You, I'm a bad, I don't know what show you're watching. <laughs> you, you in the back, ah, you see me do something nice today, right? No. No? Right off your face! Yikes! Oh, well, 
that is unfortunate. I have always prided myself on having the most wonderful of breath. Wouldn't you agree, ghost? <laughs> Will you be going to his funeral? I'll tell you, you'll have no problem finding, for no problem finding a seat. Uh, no one else is going. I wouldn't go to that funeral if they were handing out free sandwiches. And I am starving. <laughs> Five. I should hate to think of anybody's talking about me that way if I should die. Ghost, if there is anybody in this town that cared of that person of which they speak, I demand that you show me to them right now. Well, this is the poor part of town again. Well, what are we doing here? Children, please, come to the table. Why oh, we, your father's why, home. Why are we back at Bob Cratchit's house? Uh, hello, sweetheart. Uh, hello, dear. Did you have any luck finding work today? No, nothing today. I looked everywhere and still nothing. Oh, it's just been so hard, Bob. Oh, if only Mr. Scrooge had given you a raise or been kinder. Well, we might have our whole family all together now. Oh, I don't understand. Where's Tiny Tim? Well, we do the best we can with what we have. It's just not the same without Tiny Tim. I'll get the soup, you get the children, Bob. Yes, I don't get what's going on, Ghost. I mean, no matter how many times I may have threatened to fire Bob Cratchit, I would never actually fire Bob Cratchit. And, and where's Tiny Tim? And, and, and what is all this talk of keeping the family together? Ghost, why don't you answer? Ghost, why have you brought me to this very terrifying place? sure that they're doing all right. It's, yes, it's never too late to make better choices. There's no time to wait. Fine. 
helping people out makes me feel great. I'm feeling wonderful. <laughs> well, well, thank you, Mr. Scrooge. Thank you. What a good citizen. <laughs> Neat. Woo! Uncle Ebenezer. How are you? I'm wondering if that invitation to the holiday meal still stands. Well, well, of course it does, Uncle. Well, then I would be honored if you would allow me to eat dinner with you and your family. Oh! Oh, everybody will be so pleased! Oh, it's wonderful! Oh, great. Well, you, you carry on with your shopping. Uh, uh, I've got some last-minute business to attend to. Oh, Uncle Ebenezer, working today, it's the holiday. Now, niece, it's not that kind of business. Um, I need to go see an old friend. Oh, Uncle Ebenezer, I just knew you were a good man. Oh, I just knew it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, family. <laughs> uh, I always thought family was such a burden before, but I'm starting to see how there's a lot of love to share and uh, a lot of good times to be... <laughs> oh, it's Bob Cratchit. Watch this. Cratchit! <laughs> Why aren't you at work? Oh, well, 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 well you, you gave me a day off, Mr. Scrooge, just yesterday. Remember, I asked you if I could have the day off, and you said yes. Remember, these guys remember. Do you remember when I asked you for the day off, and you said yes? Right? Nodding, yes. They, they remember. They remember. I've got something to say to you, and I think you're going to want your wife to be around when I say it. Oh, oh, uh, all right. Let's go to your home. Okay. Um, is this about my job? Just keep walking. All right, sweetheart. I'm, I'm home and uh, I, I have company. Oh, the Mr. Scrooge? Mrs. Cratchit. Unfortunately, I am here today to tell you that Bob is no longer going to be needed as clerk down at the shop. No! Oh, <laughs> Mr. Scrooge! Mr. Scrooge, you can't. I don't mean to interrupt. I don't mean to interrupt. But he's no longer going to be needed as clerk because I'm making him into a full partner. What? Are you serious? That's awesome. That's awesome. It is. It is awesome. It is awesome. From now on, the shop is going to be known as Scrooge and Cratchit. Oh, Mr. Scrooge. I don't know if this is a dream or if it's real life, but you've changed. I have changed. Now, if it's not too much of a bother, there's something I'd like to say to your son, Tiny Tim. Oh, yes, right away, sir. Uh, Mr. Scrooge, I, I feel I should apologize. Well, in the past, I've said some very unkind things about you, and I was wrong. No, in the past, I've been a, a mean old man. But there's a new Scrooge in town, and I can't wait for everybody to meet him. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Scrooge. My daddy just told me the good news. I'm so happy that you'll be friends working together. <laughs> me too, Tiny Tim. Now, I want you to get better. So we're going to get you the best medicine that money can buy. And soon, you're going to be healthy and out there playing with all the other boys. Oh, Mr. Scrooge. I will, Mr. Scrooge. You have my promise. Uh, you have to join us. You must. But, uh, oh, well, I'll take you to the chair. Sweetheart, uh, sweetheart. Uh, uh, we, we, uh, I'm afraid we don't have much to spare. Now, 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 now. I already have dinner planned with my niece. But I do have one more surprise for you before I go. What? Another surprise? I've ordered a full holiday meal to be delivered here shortly. Oh, oh, so oh, 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 well, oh, Scrooge. Good day, Cratchit. Wait, Mr. Yes. Scrooge, before you go, let's have a toast yes. to you. Uh, yes. Mm. Yes, a toast to a fine man. A toast to Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge. No, 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 no. Let's, let's toast to... Let's toast to the holidays. Yes. To, to the, the holidays. holidays. <laughs> a toast indeed. That was a close one. You know, I didn't think he would change. But he did. He really did. <laughs> you know, they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. But I wonder if they ever tried sending three ghosts. It worked for me. And now my friend Ebenezer is back to the way when we first met and became good friends. A nice, generous, and caring man. So, be good to each other. And have a happy holiday. Happy Holidays! <laughs> Let's
demonstrates that Christmas Carol isn't just about Christmas. It's more about the transformation of Scrooge from being uh, the cold-hearted, uh, cratchety old man uh, into someone of greater character. You do all of this setting of I'm crotchety and old and angry, and some of that stuff feels a little slow sometimes, but you have to do it to pay off at the end. And then once, sort of around the ghost of future, it really starts to pick up. I think it's funny because this is one of the most popular Christmas stories that, you know, every year somebody makes a new film, everybody. And it's this story that is so timeless because it's just about redemption. It's about no matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what you've done, you can be a new person. And, you can make better choices. And I think that that makes it very easy to adapt because the story is totally accessible. R originally, we had a very loose script based off, off of the book. It was very uh, choppy and had a lot of the old English still in it. So we were trying to work with that. And then we basically just got all together, ditched the script, and just took on the characters. We all knew which characters we were going to play. So we ditched the, ditched the script and just kind of played around with it, improv a bit, bit, and just wrote a script based off of our uh, playing around with it, really. It wasn't a Christmas carol, it was Scrooge's Long Night, um, just so that it plays to everybody of all uh, beliefs and that it wasn't just a Christmas show uh, for people who are celebrating that. Um, so when you kind of you know take out that specific holiday element and it really just focuses on being a decent person and being good to others, uh, it sort of boils down to that. And that's what I like about it, is that it, that can apply to anybody, whether you know you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or uh, nothing at all. You should still be decent to each other.